Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the door bellows on your washer and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number 20 Torx bit, a quarter inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, we're going to disconnect the power to the washer. So simply pull the plug. The first step will be to remove the lower access panel. So we'd like to pull the washer ahead just a little bit so that we can tilt it back and then we'll put a couple of two by four blocks under the front legs just to make it easier to access the screws securing the access panel. With a quarter inch nut driver, we'll remove the three screws. I like to start with the two outside ones first and then remove the center one last. And you may need to have a little upward pressure on that panel to hold it in place while you remove the screw. And let it drop down. You'll note that there are two locating tabs that fit into matching slots in the bottom of the front panel. So we'll set the access panel aside. Now next we'll remove the soap box. Just pull it out until it catches on the stop and then depress that little tab at the back left corner which will release it and allow you to pull it completely out. We can then remove the number 20 torque screw just to the left of that opening and then we're going to just lift up gently on that control panel to disengage some tabs across the top. There's one in each corner and one in the center. And if need be just take a flat blade screwdriver and gently pry it upwards. Once we remove the console you'll see where there are three little tabs across the top of the control panel and a locating tab on the right hand side that fits into this slot and the little tabs on the top fit into that retainer bar across the top. So we can set that aside and we also have two quarter inch hex head screws on the top and two in the bottom that secure that front panel but before we remove those I'll open the door. We're going to remove the two screws that secure the door latch assembly to the front panel. They're number 20 Torx screws and they have a built-in flat washer on those screws so we want to make sure that we don't mix these up with a screw that held the control panel in place. Next we're going to disengage the bellows from the front panel and it has a metal band clamp around it with a short spring on the very bottom. So with a flat blade screwdriver we're just going to go in between that bellows and the metal clamp and just pull outward on it enough that we can actually roll it off of the front panel. We'll set that aside. And then we're going to pull that bellows away from the front panel all the way around. You'll see that it has a little groove in it that fits into that formed channel on the front panel. So just peel it out all the way around and then tuck it inside out of the way. Now we can remove the front panel with the door attached. So we'll remove those top screws first and then the two on the bottom. Just keep a little pressure against that front panel to hold it in position. Now with the weight of the door on that front panel, you want to use both hands to just pull out on the bottom bit and let it drop down. Then you can pull it out far enough that you can lift it right out of the way. And we'll set that aside. We now have access to the door bellows. And it's held in place with a clamp similar to what it engages on the front panel, except that it has a screw type fastener on the side. So with a Phillips screwdriver, we're going to loosen that clamp and just take note how much that clamp tightens before you remove the old one. And we can just lift that clamp out of the opening and again it has the same type of a wire band. And we'll set that aside. Now we can peel the boot off the outer tub and we'll discard the old bellows. Now to install the new one we need to first of all find out where the top of the boot is. There will be some drain holes on the bottom and the top will have an arrow shaped projection that faces in towards the tub. Now we'll need to look at the outer lip. This is where the band will fit. If you fold that open, that's what is going to engage around that tub. So before we 
put the new bellows on. We'll clean up any soap debris around the lip of that tub first. So just with a mild detergent and water, we'll clean that up first. Now we'll take that boot and we're going to fit it into the opening of the tub. We're going to center up the very top. And we're going to just peel that out around the lip of the outer tub and just start it in a couple of spots till we get it roughly into position. And you may want to remove the door latch assembly. Just lift it up out of its holder and let it hang out of the way. It'll give you a little more access. And before we get too far around, we want to again make sure that we have it centered properly and that the bottom is lined up dead center on the bottom. And keeping in mind the inner portion of the door boot goes actually inside the lip of the inner basket. And then this portion will fold over that lip on the outer tub. And the outer portion of it is actually where the metal wire band clamp will go. So we need to make sure that we push that in. And we'll use two hands, one on the inside and one on the out. And we'll just pull that around, make sure that it seats properly over that lip on the outer tub. and then we can put the clamp on it. And again, you may want to remove the soap box to outer tub hose. Simply just squeeze it and pull it out. And you'll note that there is a little locating arrow stamped on the hose. And as well, there's a corresponding arrow on the outer tub right here at the end of my finger. So when we put that back in, we want to make sure that those line up so that the hose isn't twisted. But that'll give you better access to put the clamp in as well as room to put your screwdriver in to tighten the screw on the clamp. Now, once we're sure that we have it properly fitted over that lip on the outer tub, it should sit flush all the way around. We can then put the clamp back on. We'll just hook it in on the right-hand side first so we'll make sure that that wire clamp fits into the V groove all the way around. And then just wiggle it around till we get it in position. It doesn't slide very well on that boot, so we want to make sure that we have it fairly close before we begin. And then loosen the screw enough that it'll turn freely. And what we need to be careful of is that this little curled portion on the wire band right below the head of the screw does not get down into the threads. If that happens, the screw will not engage or will engage the threads and it won't tighten the clamp. So make sure it's sitting flush on it first. We can then tighten it up and just double check, make sure it hasn't popped out anywhere. And if this soap box to tub hose is in your way. You can pop that out of the tub quite easily. Just tuck it back out of the way so that you have more access for your screwdriver. Now make sure it's tight and securely. Again, check to make sure that we haven't popped it out anywhere. And then make sure that we fit that soap box hose back into the opening. Now it has quite a flange that actually goes inside the opening and then you'll notice there's a smaller flange that sits on the outside of the tub. And there's a little locating arrow there too that matches up with an arrow on the front of the tub cover. So you just force it into the opening and then pull it back out until it sits flush. Make sure it's rotated in the proper direction so it doesn't kink. Now before we put the front panel back on, we'll set the door latch into its holder, and then we can put on the front panel. So we need to engage these two corners 
where the holes for the screws are going to go through, property in behind, as well as that whole perimeter edge is going to fit in behind that upper access panel. So we'll tuck one side in, tuck the other in, and then press it into place. And we'll need to hold that there long enough to put a couple of screws in it. We won't tighten those yet until we get the bottom ones in. We want to make sure that we have that front panel square to the cabinet and tighten those screws securely as well as the top ones. Next we'll open that door and we're going to guide that door latch into the opening and we'll replace those two screws. Those are the number 20 Torx with the flat washer built in. So we'll just start them first. I want to make sure that the door switch button fits into that opening in the front panel before we tighten it so that it doesn't bind up. Then we can snug those screws up. Next we're going to pull that door boot through the opening. And then similar to how we mounted it on the outer tub, we'll note that there is a V groove all the way around the outside that a metal clamp is going to fit into, as well as the reverse side of that will tuck around that lip of the door opening. So we need to first fit that in there all the way around. And when properly fitted, it should sit flush against the front panel. If you have difficulty with that bellows sliding over that lip, you can moisten the back side of it with just water and that will make it slide into place a little easier. And check all the way around, make sure it's flush and seat it properly, tucked right into the opening. It is recessed in that area and the lip of that bellows should tuck right into that recess. Now there's also a recess in the panel itself and that's where we're going to locate the spring on the clamp. Before we engage it we'll want to make sure that the hooks on the end of the spring are pulled fully into that slotted opening on both ends and then we can just lay that into that V groove, make sure it fits firmly into it and we'll pull it as far as we can by hand. And then with a flat blade screwdriver with a fairly large end on it that will fit into that slot and we'll grip that opening, we can stretch the spring and that will allow us to roll the wire band down into the groove. Now just carefully inspect it, make sure it didn't roll out anywhere and then we're okay there. Next we'll reinstall the control panel and again we want to make sure that we engage those three tabs across the top into the receptacles on that little nylon bar and line up the locating tab on the end. Make sure it's fitted around the soap box and then just snap it into place. We'll next replace that number 20 torque screw the far left hand side and then the soap box. So we'll line up the two rails with the appropriate slots on either side. And just pull it back out to make sure that the stop is working properly. We can now put the lower front panel in. Now make sure the locating pins line up with the opening the bottom of the front panel and then put the center screw in first while holding an upward pressure on that panel and then the two outside ones. Next we can tilt the machine back enough to remove the temporary blocking. Now we're ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.